Hello everyone, how's it going? Uh, this is going to be the second part of the tutorial uh, that I promised you like two weeks ago, uh, the bending tutorial. As you can probably hear in the background, I'm, I'm in college and there's a college football game going on today and that's somewhere downtown Houston, I can't see my, uh, my camera screen right now. Uh, so yeah, so this is Blender and I'm gonna teach you how to bend two objects together at the same time. Now this is a this is gonna be a very quick and dirty video. Uh, there are some really advanced tutorials on um, on bendy armatures that you can look up. Um, but again, I'm not very proficient in Blender, and I'm sure people who are like doing SolidWorks and Keyshot and stuff like that are not very proficient in Blender as well. So I just did it my own way. Um, it worked for my one of my projects. So I'm sure it's gonna work for you as well. Um, so let's let's begin. Okay, so we have a uh, an empty file here, and I'm gonna delete the default um, objects and stuff that we had over there. And I'm gonna import a .fbx file um, that I exported from Keyshot, uh, which was from SolidWorks. If you haven't watched the first uh, part of this tutorial, go watch it, and then come back to the second part. Um, because I, uh, I gave some you know tips and tricks in the first one that you are gonna need. Um, so this is my hand, so uh, I did not model this, I just got it from uh, GrabCat. Uh, so what I wanna do in this video, I wanna animate a bending animation of this hand saw, and I want uh, the saw itself and the, the base to bend together at the same time. So what I wanna do, uh, there are some, again, some a really uh, a pro tutorial on, on YouTube that you can go watch. Um, but again, this is just a, a quick and dirty way to do it. Uh, what I want to do, I want to merge these bodies all together because these are all like uh, separate bodies. And uh, I want to keep this as is. So I can uh, bend this, uh, this uh, the base and the saw together uh, individually and separately. So I can take it into Keyshot, the animation into Keyshot and then um, apply different textures and like different colors and different materials to these two. Obviously, when we say merge the handle with the base here, then you're not going to be able to apply individual textures and materials to either the handle or the base. It has to be just like one same material or texture unless you um, separate the surfaces in Keyshot, which is going to be a mess, but it's, it's possible. Um, but again, this is just for tutorial purposes. And so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to uh, merge these bodies together. Uh, you can just keep them separate if you want to, but then again, you'll have to animate them at the same time. It's just, it's going to be a mess. Um, so, okay, let's begin. So what we want to do, we want to click all of them, uh, or not all of them. Uh, we're, we could, we're just going to click A, or just, uh, yeah, click A. And then as you can see, this one is orange. Uh, if it wasn't orange, you could just like click on it and then it becomes orange if they were all like blue. Um, and since we don't want to merge the saw itself, we're just gonna, again, click shift and click on it twice. So now it's unselected. Now we don't have an orange body, but we do need a, an orange body in order to merge them all together. So I'm just gonna click uh, on the base. And now these are all together. We can go to object and uh, this is uh, the join command, control J and click on it. And there we go, that is a separate body right now. Um, you could parent them together um, for just like movement animation, uh, but not bending animation. If you parent them to get that together and then do the bending animation, then the objects uh, that are child features they won't they won't move or they won't bend with uh, your bending animation basically. So we have two separate bodies right now. Again, like uh, the last video, we're gonna go to uh, this here. I'm gonna add a modifier and it should be the simple deform. And as you can see, we have the deform um, thing here. I did forget to add an empty axis, uh, which I can do right now. We have the empty axis, and we're gonna choose origin and should be this. There we go. Uh, we're gonna go bend, and we have we have a bend. <laughs> it's uh, it's a very oh, there we go. Uh, you just have to choose the right axis. I can just go with the Z axis, and. We can do like say uh, what seventy. I don't know if you can hear the, the 
Yep, they're just playing doing like uh, fireworks right now. Uh, it's uh, kind of distracting, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool. I do not wish I was there at all. Uh, <laughs> so this is uh, this is that. Uh, so we're just gonna keep it as uh, as is, or we can um, open our uh, animation timeline and actually let's do zero, and we're gonna make a keyframe here, and we're gonna go to say uh, thirty five, and we can do seventy. Then we're gonna make another keyframe. So we have, nope. So we have uh, this um, really long, boring animation here, but we want this to be animated with that. Uh, so let's go to, let me just uh, limit these and we can go to the last frame. This is the last frame. We're going to click on this. Again, we're just going to go to simple deform. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's actually quite interesting. Imagine a really big razor blade on a handsaw. That would be cool. Uh, anyways, let's go choose uh, an origin, and we're just going to choose the empty again, and z-axis, and that's very strange. That's pretty cool. Uh, so I think we're just going to have to add some restrictions to it, so it's not just like bending, and this is, nope, not working. Um, did I choose the right, yep, yeah, the right uh, origin. So let's let's play with it. Let's see what works and what doesn't work. This is definitely not working. Um, hmm. Oh, well, it's because it's not on the bend. It was on twist. So we're going to choose Z. And if you remember, it was uh, it was 70. The angle was 70 on that one. Just gonna click on, or we're just going to change this to 70, and you can see uh, what happens. So this bends obviously more than the other one because of their placement. This is farther from uh, the origin. So what you want to do, you want to keep playing with it until you get it right, like like this. Again, this is just like the dirty way, or the dirtiest way possible that you can do it. So I'm just gonna um, stay on 42. Uh, I think uh, I think that's 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 good. I believe so. Yeah, 42 is fine. And I'm gonna make a keyframe here, and I'm gonna go to zero, and I'm gonna change this to zero degrees, and I'm gonna make another keyframe. And then we have this weird animation going on. Um, that, that's that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, you can do if you don't want to bend the handle, for example, you can click on it. I talked about this on my first video, uh, but let's go to the last frame. Just uh, see what where exactly everything is. And as you can see, it's so it's bending here, but it's not bending there. That's not what we want. We want to keep that at one, but we want to increase this so that. It won't bend the handle, but it bends the frame itself. Um, so we're gonna keep it like that, and we're gonna go back to the saw, and we're gonna have to change this until we get it right. So this is uh, this is I think this is right. Let's do fifty five six. I think this is pretty good, and. Uh, I don't think I made a frame for this. Uh, let, let's do it. Um, let's do the limit, so 25 uh, or 0.25, and then that's the limit for it. And then if you go back to the first frame, it should be. Yeah, I think we should, it just has to be 25 because uh, it doesn't matter. So let's let's see our results, and it looks pretty good. And uh, that's that's basically it. Uh, if you want me to, uh, just. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you want me to just like uh, go into the armature animation and like bend the armature animation. I can uh, I can try to do it myself. I'm gonna leave a link down there in, in the description. It's a really great tutorial um, from a Blender guy, not a SolidWorks Keyshot guy. And you can go watch his video and uh, let me know if you have any questions. And I will see you later. But no, actually, let me uh, just. Uh, just one quick thing, um, just a reminder. If you want to export this animation, you have to export it as a .abc. Um, so when you export it as a .abc animation, um, you can take it into Keyshot. If you want more details, just go watch my first video. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. Have a good rest or have a good week, and bye.